Hello all you Conan Exile fans out there. It's Granny Gamester back with another beginner's guide to Conan Exiles. And I am playing on the PlayStation 4 single player. And in today's guide, we're going to talk about T4 and specialization thralls for your crafting stations. Yeah, we already covered uh, tier 1 through 3 thralls. So let's get right to it. Let's start with our stove. Now, first of all, T4 thralls uh, increases your speed for cooking by 92%. That's, that's a pretty hefty uh, increase. But the T4 purge cooks... Uh, will increase it by 138%. Plus, um, the T4 Purge Thralls will give you the bonus of Bone Broth and Egg Surprise. And the T4s will give you Honey Glazed Roast. So let's go ahead and take a look at this now. This is my, just a normal T4. And if we put him in there, you can see we get all of these uh, added recipes. Plus, if we go to make our cooked pork strips, you can watch on the right-hand side on the bottom just how fast he will cook those. Yeah, pretty, pretty fast. So let's go ahead and take him out. Now we have a purge thrall. This is cow feet eater. So let's go ahead and put him in. And as you can see, there's the bone broth, there's the egg surprise, as well as all the other recipes uh, from the tier four thrall. So let's go ahead and check his speed time. Now this is supposed to be 138%. So let's go ahead and check that. Yeah, look at how fast he cooks. Yeah, he's like the best one to get for this. And the tier fours will also give you this honey glazed roast. Yeah, that's another bonus recipe from them. And then of course, there is the lone fisherman. Now I've talked about him before, and I will leave a link to that video at the end of this um, guide. So this is the Lone Fisherman, yeah, and he's gotten right here in Supermaru, and that's the only place you can find him. So let's go ahead and put him in. And as you can see, you get all the recipes from all the other uh, level thralls, plus you get this spicy dried fish combo. And this is the only place that you can get this is from him, yeah. So he's a pretty nice thrall to get. He's pretty easy to get. His... Um, Respawn rate is like 20% and he always spawns in the same place. It's in the little island right behind the tavern that you find Conan in. Yeah, that's where you'll get him. So that is your cooks in your cooking station. Then we have your furnace. Now T4 smelters give a plus 100% crafting speed. And your T4 purge smelters give you a 150%. Yeah. So here's our two. We'll go ahead and craft some of this. And you can see it's pretty fast. This is our T4. Let's go ahead and take him out. And we will put in our purge. I think we will here. Well. Oh. It's, there we go. And this is Alcavar, Alakar, <laughs> Burning Hands. <laughs> so let's plop him in there and see what he'll do. Yeah, look how much faster he goes. Yeah, that's at 150%. So that's the advantage of T4s in your furnace and T4 purge um, smelters. Then we have the armorer's bench. Now this is pretty, pretty cool. The armorer bench has specialized thralls. T4s give a plus five to any attribute to a complete set of armor. And what this means then is, is if you have uh, an armor set, if you make an armor set at this bench with uh, a T4 thrall, it will give you an added plus five to that armor. So say you have an armor that has a plus five strength. If you make it with a T4 armorer, it will give you a plus 10. Yeah. So it's pretty, pretty important to get a named thrall for the armor bench. Yeah. And then of course we have um, 
It also gives a plus five to temperature resistance also, and that's hot and cold. And tier three and tier four thralls give the recipe for the Decato dancers. So let's go ahead and put one of those in. And as you can see, you get all of this here. And this is anything above where your shields start. So if we take him out again, you can see there's nothing above this. And then when we put him in, we get all of this. Yeah. So that, that is a pretty uh, cool advantage. Now I could not spawn in any tier four armorers without being specialized, but they are out there. There are some that do not have this specialization. And the specialization is these little blue icons that you see next to uh, the armorer itself. Now, um, we're going to start out with, I'm going to take this guy out. And we're going to start out with this thrall right here. This is Marina Master Armorer. And you can see that it has a little blue shield there. That means he's a shield right. And he gives the best armor value at 120%. Yeah. So let's go ahead and pop him in. Now, all these armorers will give you a uh, benefit to all the attributes, whether it's um, durability, weight, uh, armor bonus in, in all light, medium, and heavies. But some are better at things than others. And this one, because it has the shield on it, is the very best that you can do uh, to give armor value to your armor. So let's go ahead, and I've got some made here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm going to find the right ones here. Now this is the armor that I made. It has an armor value, as you can see, as a 47. Uh, so if we go up here, and I made this one with this uh, shield right, and as you can see, it increased its armor value to 61.6. But then I went to the Tinkerer's Bench and made a thick armor plating and added that to it, as you can see in this one. And now it has increased the armor value of, to 70.7. So guys, this is something uh, that you really, really should take advantage of. And uh, it's, an, it's enormous help. Uh, when you're trying to make a nice strong build or a good armor because you can also pare down the weight uh, by doing this, etc., etc. Now, this one with the little hammer is a temper right, and he gives the best armor durability. So let's, I don't think I did one for durability though. I think what I did, yeah, what I did was the uh, scout right. And this gives the best weight reduction. So let's go ahead and put that on there. This is Zavik. So if we look at the weight of this, the original piece down here that I made has a weight of 19 pounds, 0.2. Uh, when I made it with this scout right, it lowered the weight of this armor to 18.13. Then on the Tinkerer's Bench, I uh, made the Pairing Blade and added that to the armor. Now, if you look at it, this armor only weighs six pounds and a quarter. Yeah. So if you've got a heavy armor and you happen to have been lucky enough to get a Scout right, yeah, take advantage of that. Take advantage of that. Um, and again, all of these specialized thralls will give you some kind of percentage bonus in each one of these areas. Yeah, whether it's armor value, um, the weight reduction bonus, or durability. Yeah, but these are just the best in, in the field for that. So that's your armorer's bench. Then we have the Saddler's Work Table, and there really is no advantage to any T4 there. 
All right, and then we come to our blacksmith bench. Now all thralls, T1 through T4, give some type of bonus in weapon damage, uh, armor pen, and durability of the weapons, and also with the tools, uh, and it decreases weight. Uh, but there are specialized thralls in the blacksmith bench as well. So let's open this up and take a look. Now this one that has the little shield icon, the little blue shield, he is a edge smith and he will give you the best armor pen at plus 23%. So let's take a look at that. Now this is your basic Argosian great sword that I made and this is with no thrall in there at all and the health damage 20 percent the armor pen is 20 percent has durability of 720 and a weight of 499 so the next one that i made with the edge smith you can see that the uh it did decrease the health damage by two because again they no matter what they are they will give you some kind of a uh, bonus in each one of these areas they're just not the best at it this one happens to be the best in the armor pen so as you can see he increased the armor pen to 24 percent here and it also increased the durability now it was 720 now it's 939 and it did lower the the uh, weight as well so i did uh, make at the tinkerer's bench a spiked weapon fitting and added it to it here so now the armor pen if you look on the left hand side under armor pen uh is now 34 percent yeah guys so if you need a weapon that's uh really good at armor pen this is the way to go yeah if you have an edge smith then we have let's take him out here then we have the bladesmith now this guy has the little sword icon and we're going to pop him in there now again the damage of this sword without any thrall at all is has a health damage of 20. And the uh, damage bonus for this uh, bladesmith is a plus 23%. So if we move over to here, you can see now the health dam dam oh, damage for this is 25. And then in the Tinkerer's Bench, I made an advanced weapon damage kit and added that to it. And now my health damage has jumped up to 31. Yeah. And as you can see with all three of these, the durability wasn't as great on this one as it was, uh, I mean, with the damage increase kit as it was without it. But it's, well, it's, in my opinion, it's better to have the health damage than it is the durability sometimes. So, yeah, if you do put this uh, damage kit from the Tinkerer's Bench on this, it will lower the durability. So, uh, yeah, and then the last but not least is the temper smith and he will increase the durability bonus by uh 44 for you yeah now all t4s will give you t3 and t4s i might add will give you uh the ability to make reinforced steel uh in another way it takes iron reinforcement and steel fire and you can make uh, steel reinforcement from that yeah now, again, purge thralls do not give any uh, additional benefits uh, in the blacksmith bench either. So that's the blacksmith. Then we have the tinkerer's bench. Now, the tinkerer's bench uh, has two great features to it. And I always, always, always will go after um, this guy just for this bench. And this is the, um, the armorer temper right now he is right here and we're going to take this one out and we're going to pop him in and as you can see he's going to give me the ability to make the legendary armor uh, patch kit yeah so if you can get both of these uh, specialized thralls, T4 thralls, yeah, if you can, 
because uh, this saves you a lot. These are only dropped by bosses. So if you have the ability to make these at your tinker's bench, it's just a big boon in my opinion. Now, if you put in the blacksmith one, which is the temper smith, and this, this guy right here, he gives you the ability to make the legendary weapon repair kit, which is uh, very much needed in the game when you start getting legendary weapons and you need to repair them because it's the only way you can repair them. And the only place you can get these is drops from the bosses. Yeah. And mostly in the unnamed city, I do believe. Yeah. So he's a really important one to go looking for. You can get him in Supermaru. I have got him there a couple of times. Uh, he's very easy to get there. So yeah, if you really want one, that's where I would go to get him. So that is our Tinkerer's Bench. Then we have the casting table and the casting table does not have any benefits to any T4 thralls. All right, and then we're gonna start with our carpenter's bench here. Let's open this up. And again, uh, all thralls T1 through T4 give a bonus increase in weapon damage, armor pen, durability, and weight loss of some sort. But the specialization thralls, uh, there's three of them, uh, give other great benefits. Now the one that I have in here now with a little hammer is he does the best in durability. It's not the only thing he does. Again, all of these will give a bonus in any one of these areas, durability, weapon damage, or armor pen. He is just the best at durability. So let's take a look at this. Now the bow I made here uh, was made without any thrall in there at all. This one and you can see the durability is 600. This one I did make with the builder. So you can see the durability has increased to 864. Uh, then I added the reinforcement kit that I made in the tinkerer's bench. And that jumped the durability up to 964. Yeah. And if you will also notice, this thrall did increase the damage by one. Yeah. So even though that's not his specialty, he still increased it by one. So that's pretty awesome. So let's take him out. And then we're going to take a look at the bow maker. And he is going to increase the damage of your bows. Yeah. So again, uh, you start out with a health damage of seven with no thrall in here. Uh, then when I pop him in, now I have a health damage of nine on this bow. And again, his durability has increased from 600 to seven because like I said, he will uh, do some percentage of increase there. And then I added the advanced weapon damage kit from the Tinker's Bench. And when I did that, look at the health damage of this bow. It is a 15, yeah. So guys, if you are an archer and bows are your thing, make sure you get a bow maker. Yeah, try to find one and then combine it with the uh, reinforcement, no, the advanced weapon damage kit from the Tinker's Bench and you will have a very strong bow. Yeah, above and beyond anything you can find out there. So yeah, something to uh, really strive for here. And then last but not least is the Fletcher and he gives the best armor pen. But if uh, your bow does not have armor pen, it will not add it to it. It is only going to increase uh, armor pen if it is already there. So if something has zero armor pen, it's not going to add to it. So that's the way that works. And then we have the Tanner's table. Now again, T1 through T4 increases the speed uh, of which it makes um, uh, products. And the Purge Thrall, um, a T4 Purge Thrall in this, will increase your speed to 150%. Yeah, which is, which is pretty good. So that's all there is at the Tanner's table. And then we come to the Tanner's Bench. And again, Tier 1 through Tier 4 increases the speed up to 150%. And if you have a Tier 4 Purge Thrall, and again, this is a pro, uh, Thrall that you catch 
during a purge, uh, he will increase the speed um, to 150%. Yeah. And then we have the cauldrons. Let's open this up and take a look here. Now I have a tier four in here, a named thrall. And again, that will give you a 100% increase in speed. And if you get a purge tier four uh, alchemist for this bench, that will give you a 300% increase for that. Yeah. And then we have the alchemist bench. So let's open this up. Now, Alchemist Bench, a tier three and tier four thrall that you put in here, and this is a T4, and this is Harold the White. And if you notice on the right-hand side here on the top, he gives me all these great things to make. Now I have another way to make tar from bark and ichor. You can also make spice here instead of making it in the grinder. You have two different ways to make tar now. You can use resin and raw ash, or you can use oil and raw ash. And again, you can you can also make the demon fire orb, um, the gaseous orb, the grease orb, and the um, fill the water glasses or orbs. So that's what a T4 will do on the alchemist bench. Now T4s on a dyer's bench will make uh, duplicates. And what they mean by that is, if you notice, if I take this out, you can see there's nothing on the top here. If I pop him in, now I can make black and white uh, dye. But if you scroll down, I already have the ability to do that, whether he's in there or not. There's black there and there's white down here that you can make. So if there are any duplicates here, uh, it doesn't change what it requires to make them, anything like that. It just happens to be uh, a duplicate, that's all. Then we have the fermentation barrel here. We open this up and take a look. If you put your lone fisherman in here, let's pop him out, and you can see you have nothing on the top there on the right-hand side. And if I pop him in, now I can make bitter tea, frenzy wine, honey whiskey, pirate rock gut, uh, Stygian liquor, all from putting him in there. And also the same thing will happen when I put in the named um, alchemist. I get the same uh, bonus recipes, bitter tea, frenzy wine, honey whiskey, pirate gut, rock gut, Stygian liquor. Yeah. So that's the advantage to tier fours in your fermentation barrel. And then we have the artisan's table. Now again, uh, T4 uh, Tanner gives the extract recipe for silk. I covered this in another video as well. So we have uh, Caverara of the highs. And as you can see over here on the right hand side, I have extract silk. So now I can make silk from fat grubs. Yeah, it takes a few of them, of course, but it is an alternative to make silk if you do not want to deal with spiders. Yeah. Then we come to the torturer's bench. And the torturer's bench has two different T4s here that are specialized. There is the driver. Now he's the one that has the little icon. It's actually a little person's head with uh, kind of this like dizzy icon in there. And that's because uh, he gives uh, increased concussive damage. Yeah, at a plus 22%. When you make a truncheon in this, yes. So this truncheon, you cannot see the health damage or the concussive damage that these do when you make them, all you're gonna be able to see is uh, the durability of these and the weight, et cetera, et cetera. This one, uh, let's pop him up in here. This one I made with no thrall in there. The durability is 300%, the weight is 3.3. I made this one with him. And as you can see, uh, the durability is increased to 391.5 and the weight with uh, is down to 2.91, but he does have the increased concussive damage. Yeah, at 22%, even though you can't see it, yeah. So then we have the overseer. 
Now what the overseer does um, increases the durability of these. So again, um, it increased from 300 to 432 with him. Yeah. So he's, he's a good one to have when you want to increase the durability of your truncheons. Yeah. And that's how they work in here. And also when you put a T4 in here, uh, you gives you the recipe for chain bindings, which you can see over here. Yeah. So uh, that is your torturer's bench. And then last but not least, we have the wheel of pain. So the Wheel of Pain also takes uh, the Taskmasters and we do have the um, Concussive, the Driver and the Overseer and the they both give um, an increased speed damage yeah, to 150% and a T4 will do this as well. Uh, other than that, they don't give any special... Uh, bonuses in the wheel of pain except for increased speed so if you want the very best speed put a t4 in here or the overseer or the driver yeah in here for your wheel of pain and that helps because they take a long time yeah to train well all right guys uh, I think that's it we've covered them all if I have missed anything and some of you may know that uh, please Help us out. Leave a comment and let me know what I missed or you can add something to this. Yeah, that's always helpful. Uh, I have no problem with that whatsoever because we're all here to learn about this game. It's a wonderful game. There's a lot to it and a lot to learn. So yeah, and I will also leave a uh, link to a wiki in here where you can look this up again. Uh, or just grab a, a, a pad of paper and a pencil and watch the video and jot down the information as you go. Well, all right, guys, if you liked, give me that big old like. And if you would like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit that little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. Well, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, GGL.